Oops. Okay, guys, I just got back from walking the dog and I was thinking about something I left out of the last video. And people always ask me how I got started in the music business. And my first internship was at MTV, which was awesome. Like my fifth day there, I had to walk Dave Matthews down the red carpet. Um, but how really I got into the business was I was just pushy. I'm just blonde and pushy. I mean, I just knew that I wanted to be in the music business and I knew that I needed to go after somebody that had an in for it. So I went to a mixer. No! You don't do that. Sit. Down. Bad dog. Hey, so I know I left something out of my last um, music rock star video. So um, people always ask me how I get in the music business. And my first internship when I was young, after I entered at the Four Seasons, the one where um, the Regent Beverly Wilshire, where Pretty Woman was supposedly shot, but it wasn't. And then I basically had to open doors for old men who gave me like a whole silver dollar and change. And these people you know, pulling up in Ferraris and Lamborghinis and could afford a lot more than that for me, my measly little internship. But after that, I interned at MTV and I had to walk Dave Matthews down the red carpet my fifth day there. It was like a sink or swim situation. Like you can either do it or you can't. And apparently I did with a crop top on and that worked. Um, but then after that, once I had graduated college and I moved to LA like permanently, my mom's like, you know, you need to get a job. And I was like, oh, Shit, I guess I do. So I knew I wanted to work in the music business. My cousin worked in the music business. My sister worked in the music business. It's like in my blood. I'm a rocker forever. And I decided to go, I went to this little mixer, this Christmas thing, really weird. And I went up to this guy and I knew he had worked at like the top agency. And I was like, you know, hey, and just started talking to him and just like really tried to push my way in. And by the end of the night, he was nice enough to bring my resume to this agency. And then when I got called in, I'm getting my little suede suit and I go and I sit down and the only spot open is next to little Richard. So I say, is this seat taken? And he says, no. And I sit down and he's all hairsprayed, like caked on makeup, total Little Richard style, he's awesome. And I'm sitting there like, what do you say when you're at your first job interview and you're sitting next to Little Richard? So I say the first thing that popped into my head and I was like, my grandmother loves you. And he's like, oh my God, and we start talking. And you know, he's Little Richard. So it couldn't have been any better. So like literally talked to him for like, 10 minutes and he was like, I know you're gonna get this job. I promise you, I have a funny feeling you're gonna get this job. I'm like, really? And he went off and I waited another 45 minutes until I finally got my interview. And lo and behold, I got the job. And then I saw him several months later and he was like, did you get the job? I was like, yeah. So I guess I have to owe all my music greatliness, if that's even a word, my music stuffness to Little Richard. And he rocks. I mean, I love who doesn't like little Richard. And then he gave me a little glossy to your grandmother. Love little Richard. It was so cute. And I have such a fond, you know, spot in my heart for him. And we'll always. And it was just like the best story. And that's kind of how I got my start. So thanks, little Richard. You've got great volume. But let's work on the cake a little bit. Peace.